Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking about how you can make money online. There's all sorts of ways that you can go about doing this. We're going to give a few tips, uh, Kirby's experience, my experience, but Kirby, I'll let you start this one off. Um, I'm going to start it off and people probably ain't going to like how I say it, but I'm going to say it. The reason why people are looking so much into making money online and because they want to find the laziest way to make money. Is there ways to make money online? Yeah. But everybody that want to make money online don't have the aptitude or the hard work to make it happen. I'm just being honest. Uh, like somebody who set up an online store. Everybody's people that's been in the industry and did it a hundred times make it look easy and simple. Just like we make real estate look easy and simple because we've done been through the process a whole bunch of time. But the truth of the matter is starting out, it's a grind. It's a grind and everything you do. Alex, from the time I met you, I never told you, hey, it's going to be easy. I said, you're going to go through a process. So if you're going to go through the process, then yeah, it's ways to make money online. But the reason why the search volume, the search history for making money online is so high is because people want to be lazy. People want to find a way to curtail or shortcut their nine to five job. Easy. Nothing hard. They want easy. They want, you know, they want the Mary Kay, you know, how they used to lie, say that was easy. You know, they want that. They want the pyramid scheme easy. They want all this other stuff that's supposed to be quote unquote easy. But just long, long as this is the baseline to say, yeah, you can make money online. And at the beginning, it's going to be hard work to do it. Then, yeah, we could talk about making money online. But if people just looking at this video thinking, oh, this is the next shortcut, then this probably is not the video for them. But now let's get to making money online. So, Alex, you're going to go up first. I mean, I know you did some online things. You know, we've talked about it, you know. We did some online things here, but I'm going to let you start off first. But I had to put that disclaimer out before people j deep, jump deep dive into this video thinking that they about to find a new um, holy grail of online money making. I think making on money online is the easiest way to make money these days. It's a tool that people should utilize more often. I mean, like you said, yeah, I mean, most people, they don't use or they don't utilize a tool and that's because of laziness, but the internet has granted people so much access to so many different markets, so many different ways to communicate with people to, uh, you know, distribution to everything. I mean, there's so much you can do online. There's plenty of things that I'm sure people have heard of drop shipping, arbitrage, Amazon, FBA stocks, all that stuff. All that stuff comes from online. If you could figure out one and just focus on that one instead of trying to do everything, hoping one is going to hit big, you will make money out of it. My experience in making money online started with arbitrage. It started with buying and reselling items. And it is a way that you can make an income off of. But you have to put in the time to look for inventory, to build relationships with other sellers to communicate with people. You have to find the time to travel, maybe to go to certain events, to um, have access to different inventory. So there's things that you, you do have to put in work. It's not simply, oh, I'm going to make, make it big and I can quit my job tomorrow. You have to put in work and build it like, you know, as if it's a, if it's, as if it's a business. Yeah, and and an, an, another thing that people sleep on, like we said, making money online is a high traffic, a high volume search topic on the internet. Another one is credit cards. That's a high volume, high, high search topic on the internet. You know, buy, bad credit, credit cards, good credit, credit cards, credit cards with most points, yada, yada, yada. What people don't know that they're, for every credit card company, there's an affiliate link at the bottom you don't need to be an expert you don't need to be you don't have to know about credit cards whatsoever but if you go on different credit card websites you can sign up for the affiliate link and what the affiliate link does it gives you a link as a person that want to be affiliate and drive traffic to their website so they'll give you a link and you can set up your own website and then put all those links and GUIs and 
different cards on your website. So you got to do the work and go to each credit card company and get those affiliates. And then if somebody clicks, and so you have your website and then you drive traffic to your website. If somebody clicks on your link and applies for a credit card from American Express, from Microsoft, I mean, MasterCard, I was about to say Microsoft, <laughs> MasterCard, <laughs> Visa, Discovery, whatever, whatever links you have on there. And then they apply for it and get approved every approval. And, it, and then there's different amounts for approval. I think American Express is the highest, like $150 or something like that for every approval. And that $150 goes directly to you as being an affiliate. So that's another way you can make money online. But again, you have to do the work to set up the website, to uh, drive traffic and do other things to make that happen. But that's another way you can make money. So just think for every approval, if you drive, let's say 50 to a million people to your website, and Alex, you might have to pull out a calculator for this, but you drive a million people a year to your website. And then say out of a million people that go to your website, let's say 1% of the people that go to your website gets approved for, they go to your website and click a link and then apply for a credit card through your affiliate link. So 1% of a million is what, Alex? That's 10,000 people. That's 10,000 people that get approved. 10,000 people, let's just use an average of, you know, for every person that get approved is $100. $100 times 10,000 people is what, oh, Alex? That's uh, a million. There it is. You don't trust me? It's a million. <laughs> no, I don't trust you, Alex. Your numbers be shaky sometimes. And you went to private school, too. <laughs> yep, that is that's what it is. It's a hundred thousand people. It's a hundred thousand. No, it's not Damn, ten thousand times a hundred. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I I didn't put a hundred, I put ten dollars. It's a million dollars. <laughs> so they never they never trust Alex. Them. That's that's my philosophy. Look, you but see um, anyway, you... so yeah, but yeah, here you go. But that's but that's what I'm saying. So ten thousand people average a hundred dollars, that's a million dollars. I mean would you get that in your first year? No. Over time, have you built it up? Your website builds reputation. Can you get that? Yes. But that's a low cost going in. So building a website costs you what? 300 bucks a month, uh, 300 bucks a year, you know, roughly. And then, you know, you have to do the leg labor to go to each website, each website, get, get the affiliate link, sign up for the affiliate links. That's the time consuming part. Combine that all on one website, you know, make the website look pretty and then put it out there to the masses. But after you do that, it's just driving traffic. You know, you're putting up your website on your social media pages. You're putting your website up everywhere. You, you know, you pass, I mean, me, I use a digital card, you know, you, you, you know, passing out your cards or whatever. So people can go through your website to make money, but that's a way because everybody wants credit and wants to do it. And then, you know, you have different levels, you know, these credit cards are for people with bad credit and that's trying to build their credit. These credit cards are for people that want the most out of the uh, reward points because people love reward points. You know, you have another one, people with good credit and then, or people that's, you know, want miles or want hotel perks or want cash back or whatever. And you just set up your website like that and then just drive people to go into the website. And then once they apply, they get approved, you get a check. They apply, they get approved, you get a check. But that's another process right there. And Alex, thanks for giving me the numbers. I just didn't trust you. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's all good. Yeah, I mean, guys, there's, there's tons of different ways. We don't want to keep this video too long. Um, we can make another video on this. But we just want to give a couple examples. I mean, there's tons of content on how to actually go about, you know, making money online. And for me, it was arbitrage. I know Kirby, your wife does the same thing and she found a bigger hack because she gets free inventory. So there's tons of ways to do things, guys. We have, I think we have a couple more videos on this. And for the people, Alex, uh, sorry for cutting you off, but I just want to, this arbitrage thing. You see some people talk about it and they make it sound so easy. People, you got to put work in. You got to put work in. I mean, your processes get simpler but you have to put work in. You have to scour to find the goods. Like Alex said, you got to get the inventory. You got to scour to get it. And then, like I said, at the beginning, it's going to seem hard. But like I said, the more you do it, the process will get simpler. Like we can go on a whole two hour video about Alex first time buying a rental property. Oh, my God. I thought <laughs> I thought this guy, I thought this guy was going to go crazy. 
but but then as he after he did it over time, then the process gets simpler, gets simpler. And then now he can get on here on YouTube and talk about buying real estate. But trust me, if he was talking about real estate on his first deal, he he'd have made y'all go crazy too. So that's the <laughs> truth of it. Repetition brings the easiness to it. That's why so many content creators can get on here and talk about how easy it is because they went through the process. They banged their head against the wall a lot. And then you should take some of those uh, anecdotes and some of those life lessons that they learned and put it into your process. But you're going to bump your head sometimes. But the key is keep persevering, going through, going through, going through. And the next thing you know, you bring it in two, three hundred dollars a day that supplement the income you have or can replace the income that you already have and give you the option. We'll never on this channel tell you to quit working, but it give you the option to choose your side hustle instead of your job. With that being said, guys, hit the like button. If you like this video, leave us a comment down below, share and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.